Greg Erickson is an expert on crocodilians, the animal group that includes crocodiles and their cousins, the alligators. Erickson has studied the animals at the St. Augustine Alligator Reserve in Florida for 10 years and likes to get up close and personal. Lockjaw, lockjaw, lockjaw. Here. Erickson studies crocodilians, so he can find out more about T. rex and the dinosaur family to which it belongs, the theropods. Gators and, and crocodiles make a great model for studying the feeding biomechanics of extinct theropod dinosaurs. They have very similar musculature, uh, and just the basic leverage of their jaws and things like that are actually just a good analogy for tyrannosaur feeding. The similarity between crocodile jaws and T. rex jaws makes these animals ideal for Erickson's research but it also makes them very dangerous. OK, grab that pole. Yeah, let's go. Watch, watch your feet, watch your feet. Remember, she can run forward. OK, everybody ready feet. for pop? One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Watch your feet, Ray. Yep. This is a female American crocodile, Stevie. OK, let's work here. A youngster at 31 years old, she's only half the size she could become. She may be small, but her strength is obvious. Bob has the tape. Stay in line with her. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Who's got okay. tape? I have Bob's tape. got the tape. Just snip, just... Keep that on there. It's Erickson's job to try to persuade her to take part in his research. She's heavy. Because her jaws are thought to work in a similar way to T. rex jaws, Erickson plans to measure her bite to see what it may reveal about the power behind a T-Rex bite. Yet as she's small, and he's not tested her before, he has no idea what kind of results he'll get. Pull the leg out of that. First, Stevie is gently restrained. Her keeper covers her eyes, because it not only keeps her calm, but will prevent her biting too soon. I'm all set. Erickson needs to get the crocodile to crunch onto a specially designed pressure sensor, which will record the force of the bite. OK, everybody ready? OK, Jim, take off the eyes a little bit. The tricky bit is getting the timing right. Yep, yeah, here we go. The bite needs to be a spontaneous one. OK, here we go. Hang on. Eight hundred and nineteen pounds. Good bite. Stevie's bite results are impressive. Ooh. Ooh. We registered a very aggressive, defensive bite from this uh, American crocodile. I think the highest force we had was uh, eight hundred and twenty pounds, which is you know it's an incredible amount of force. It's a remarkable bite, especially considering she's not even fully grown. Okay, don't grab that. <laughs> Do not grab that. <laughs> don't worry. An 800-pound bite is uh, comparable to what a lion could do or a spotted hyena, which is the bone-crushing champion among mammals. So a very small crocodilian is capable of doing bite forces uh, equal to what uh, you know, some of these large carnivorous mammals do. Uh, if you matched up an equal-sized crocodile, say, to a large lion, though, the crocodile will bite probably three times more forcefully. 